Hi, Stephanie. Uh, my name is Ron from pocculture.com. How are Hi, you? Good to meet you. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for chatting with me. I really uh, loved your film. Um, I, I would love to hear about how you conceived of the idea and um, just how much of your personal background is in this story. Yeah, um, a lot of my personal background, a lot of my life, I, at the time, my, my grandfather was about to turn 100 and my parents were going to turn 70 and my nephew was going to turn four. And I was just thinking about the passing of the baton of life. And I was a babysitter in my early 20s. And I babysat this little four-year-old who was smart and wonderful and amazing. But he tried to shoot me with his little finger gun, shoot me dead one day. And I asked him if he knew what that meant. And he didn't. And I said, I, if, if I was dead, I wouldn't be able to be here. I wouldn't be able to be with you. I wouldn't be able to play with you anymore. And he got really sad. And, um, you know, I think that's the ultimate tragedy of life, right? Is that it ends and that we'll all have to suffer loss. And how do we share those difficult things? Um, and how do we share them with children? And personally, I'm very bad at sharing. <laughs> I don't want to, I want to be happy all the time. Um, so, you know, I think it's a film about, about sharing and learning that there are other people who feel like you and you're not alone in that, in that feeling. Yeah, definitely. And it's so powerful. There were um, two moments that really uh, crushed me. <laughs> um, there, speaking of difficult conversations, there was that great moment before bedtime when Noah and Avalon are talking about death and what happens. Uh, and then the other part was right before the potential like averted tragedy of her just saying, go play on your own for a little bit. You know, she's struggling. Um, it went with those moments that are just so heavy, um, I guess, how much of your theater background um, experience uh, went into kind of crafting those uh, scenes? Well, theater is very dialogue driven. So I think at least in the end of the film, it's quite dialogue driven and what they're saying to one another. Um, but a lot of it really comes from, from that story with my, with the child I babysat and also my, my nephew, um, he was about the same age. And so kind of thinking about what that's like and what he's like and, and how you talk to one another. Yeah, definitely. Um, I have to admit, I avoid some of those hard conversations myself with my daughter. Um, the, the little, uh, boy who plays, uh, Noah, uh, I think his name is Dash. Uh, he's so amazing. I thought he really shined. Um, could you talk about like working with him and um, just like what, how you just knew he was like the right fit for this role? I knew he was the right fit from his very first tape and he was very young. I can't remember if he was like three and a half or four. And um, he did the lines and he actually stuck his whole fist in his whole mouth and kept doing the scene. And I thought if he can be that much himself and say the lines at the same time, you know, we're, we're gonna make this work. And he really was like that. He was really present and pure and wonderful. And of course, having a kid on set is just fun. There's nothing not fun about playing hide and seek every time you come back to set. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Now, you've talked about like the theme of like loss and, and the tragedy of, of death, but I feel like um, the character Noah uh, um, and just really infuses the story with like a youthful hope. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts a little bit about balancing that you've talked about your own like four year old versus like your, your grandparents. Like, how do you how do you view the story of like balancing like youth and like death? I think in the end, the, the film is about the fact that yes, we will feel sadness. We will go through loss of all kinds, whatever it is, pain. But the beautiful thing is we are still here and we still get to play and we still have other people to be with. And I think that that's what Noah brings to the film is there's still life, there's still childishness, there's still something fun to do. <laughs> Absolutely. And I really felt that joy. Uh, so thank you so much. I appreciate uh, our, our conversation and thank you for your film. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Likewise.